the second problem is again based on motion in two dimension the problem is a particle is moving in the xy plane now since it's moving in the xy plane it's obviously a question based on motion in two dimensions its position at an instant t is given by x equals to at and y equals to at 1 minus alpha t where a and alpha are constants a and alpha are constants and t is the time now we need to find the time find the time at which the angle between that is theta which is the angle between velocity vector and acceleration vector is pi by 4 so this is the question the particle is moving in xy plane its position is given by x equals to at and y is equal to at 1 minus alpha t where alpha and a are constants we are asked to find the time at which the angle between the velocity and alpha vector is pi by 4 so let's solve the question now since we are given the x vector vector as a t and this i and y vector as a t 1 minus alpha t i can write the radius vector as x vector plus i plus y j vector this is pretty obvious from our knowledge of vectors so i can write this as a t times i plus times j now differentiating this we will get the velocity vector so the velocity vector is given by a i I differentiate a t I will get a and differentiating this part we will get a a t is a and from there a t is a alpha t square I will get 2 alpha right so I have taken a common so this a won't be there right so I'll get this or I can write this as a i plus a minus 2 alpha a t times j cap this is the velocity vector now again I can find the acceleration vector as differentiation of constant will be 0 and this part will give me minus 2 alpha a j cap so I have the velocity vector and I have the acceleration vector now I need to find the time at which the angle between the velocity vector and the acceleration vector is pi by 4 now the scalar, scalar product of vector says that v dot a is equals to magnitude of v to magnitude of a vector into cos theta so at the instant when the angle between these two vectors is pi by 4 this becomes 1 by root 2 this product I can calculate by multiplying these two vectors taking the dot product of these two vectors the dot product of these two vectors will be what I this term will cancel because I dot j is 0 we'll have a dot product, dot product of these two vectors which is given by 2 alpha a minus sine times a minus 2 alpha a t right this is equal to 
the magnitude of v vector which is equal to a square plus a minus 2 alpha a t whole square times the magnitude of this vector is 2 alpha a times 1 by root 2. This thing and this thing will cancel out. Now I need to square both sides. So I will square it. I will get a minus 2 alpha a t whole square that is uh, into 2 is equal to a square plus a minus 2 alpha a t whole square. So this I bring this this side and I will get a minus 2 alpha a t whole square is equal to a square. So finally, we'll get four a square alpha t. That is equals to four a square alpha square t square, or we'll get alpha square t square alpha to t equals to one, or t equals to one by alpha. So this is our final answer. So now let's move on to the most common example of motion in two dimension that is projectile motion.